what's up everyone welcome to this really exciting tutorial I'm going to give you a, I'm going to show you how to create a hologram like this so it's basically a really nice hologram in which uh, the master chief from halo is speaking with us and we have really you know holographic effects like numbers and all this isn't the perfect one but you know it's an ideally you can use it as a beginner production so what I'm gonna do is just show you what we are going to create. Yeah, uh, that's what we are going to create. So you might have noticed that the tint of Master Chief changes from time to time like this you can see. That was actually my mistake uh, and sorry for that. What I'm going to do is just take a new composition and I have a raw footage green screen. I'm gonna drop it in. So just resize it. Okay, that looks good like this and we're done. So I'm gonna shut it off for the moment and shut down the audio we don't need it. But not for now. If you have audio in your clip, you may select, means keep it on, don't deselect it. And uh, what I'm gonna do is add that nice kind of transparent outer light that is in a hologram. So I like blue colors, so I'm using blue. And what I'm gonna do is select this rectangle tool and just create a rectangle not so far from the edges. that should be pretty fine then I'm going to feather this mask out alright and then I'm going to select this time rounded rectangle tool another one like that not so far from the edges of this mask but this time a different shape and I'm gonna hit MF so that brings up on the front oh, just a minute and set it to subtract and just spread it out like that so we've got the outer panel but that doesn't look that good so what I'm gonna do is add another layer and just name this back this will be edges and this will be our footage okay so what we're going to do is shut down this layer for the moment and create another mask just like this around the edges and turn this on so as you can see we got that and I'm going to feather this mask out a little bit so it blends nicely and then I'm going to select T or you can just go into transform and find that out well so shortcut is T and I'm just going to reduce the opacity until it looks like faintish and you know just like a back color I'm just going to tweak these settings a little bit maybe lower the feather amount over here so we got this nice effect and I think it looks pretty much good like this so here we have a little darker color a little light light and you can just tweak the settings however you want you can even make it red yellow blue orange whatever so I'm going to turn on our layer and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select effect keying and key light so key light is a very powerful green screening tool you can even set the background to red or any other color as long as it is one color it will do pretty much. Uh, sorry I put the key light in wrong one select the footage effect key light so, key light one. so I'm going to select this option over here put this on there and yeah there we go so as you can see we got really nice effects doing pretty much of a good job you can see we have a little more greenish edges we can just do that emit that using you know increasing the screen grain you can completely remove it but I don't want to do that because no one just you know thinks about that smaller details it just gonna 
you might do that if you want to achieve ultimate perfection so I'm going to use the rectangle tool mask tool and just remove this logo no offense but I don't want it in here for now and I cannot buy this thing for now and but it is a really good software for recording games many cam I uh, uh, suggested better than flaps I think no offense so uh, I'm just going to create another mask at his legs hit F and feather it out I mean uh, set this to subtract and now feather it out so it is not so sharp edges so we have a, a smoother transition now he looks so bold on the background and whenever a hologram appears <coughs> uh, we are tinted to that color you know we are it's blending with that color if you might have seen source images so and what can you do for that is uh, uh yes yeah, sorry uh go to king and uh, no color correction tint and set the first color to something like this bright red second color to something like this faint red and just slow down the amount so as you can see it Blends in pretty much good. Let's go to tweak the settings a little bit. Probably create this a little bit small amount. So, I guess, as you can see, that blends in pretty much good. Compare this to this. So, it hasn't lost its original red color, but it isn't so bold or bright on the surface. So, uh, sorry. We can now do this align it and so here we have the basic outline so now you might have seen in my hologram we have this randomly moving number so what we're going to do there are two methods first method is this do a text and I have this OCR A extended it has a pretty much good font that makes it look like something and uh, you might select any other font you want then what I'm gonna do is hit T select this and hit T and just lower the opacity so it blends in nicely and then you know uh, lower down the size of this and go to animation animate text character offset and the beginning of the time we'll keyframe this to zero we'll go to the end of the time of course in our composition only mm, oh, come on Don't wait, man. so and just push this way up I'll just do a half resolution to one push this way up so depending on you you might want it faster or slower I want it pretty much fast so you got that and second method is just create a text layer and anything just type in anything in that it's not really going to do anything and then we're going to go to effect text numbers horizontal right and this the font oh yeah, OCR extended dip. so and we are going to set the decimal places to zero and Increase the size there it is in the middle and this bring it down shift it this side like this and set the film color to something like that and just lower oh sorry just lower the opacity so this one blends properly too and from the number we are going to set this to hexadecimal so we get something cool like this and it is not much nice now but if you select random values then you can see it is pretty much doing we don't even need to keyframe it it goes on doing things on its own so that's a bit too much big I think I should just bring down the size oh no uh we have to bring down the size from here okay uh, not necessarily you have to make a text layer, you can make a solid or like something just like so 
there are many other things you can do with this like use a current date time and all whatever you want I'm not going to select that for now so next thing we have in a hologram is this shape that revolves all the time so what I did was just I went on to the internet typed in circular damn circular designs images and you know we have really so many designs in here which you can select as for you know just some which you like so it's taking time for me to load whatever and I have downloaded it so you can see it I'll just drop it in my comp so as you can see it I'll set the full resolution to full for now and I'll just zoom in it properly proper shape and size so and we can just zoom in so here we have the shape now what you have to do is make sure none layer is selected and just create a mask so what I'll do is create a shape layer just create a mask around this quickly you don't need to be exactly exact and if this red thing is interfering with your vision just shut that off and you can still see the outline so it doesn't need to be exactly exact as after you zoom out you won't see so many defects so like this as you can see now in the contents we have found one shape again for the slower one down one so you can just I'm not creating perfect shape now just to show you so I'm gonna delete this layer I've, because I've already made it and with patience, courage and whatever you can say perfection I'm gonna copy it down and just paste it for time being quick so I'm gonna delete this for now don't need it for now done so uh, this shape there I'm going to just solo it and yeah sorry so as you can see we ha I have created that using the masks when you scale it down to the proper size it looks pretty much good and if you want to see you can see that I have done all the shapes 11 shapes for all the arms and all so I'm just going to sit like this and skip it over here unsolo this and press R to bring up the rotation and just what you need to do is press this keyframe go to the end of the time and how much faster you want depending on that you just set it something so I don't want it to be that fast so I'm going to set about only one rotation perhaps 360 till the time ends and we have it good so now here we have this bands you know most holograms you might see those bands so what I'm going to do is effects sorry I'm going to select a new uh, layer adjustment layer and effects transition written and blinds I'm going to set the angle to 90 degrees and transition completion to something like this then I'm going to feather this out like that so it, you, as you can see it's already creating a really good effect be sure to feather it out, out really good so it does not look abrupt like that and don't make it too much just something that you can you might even decrease the transition completion percentage to make it look proper so as you can see we have closed and merged and here you can see the signal strength one oh, I didn't reduce your passive for that I think I made this such a mistake. Then, uh, for that, what I did was just go. I created this mask, another mask with these two solids. Then I put one, you know, this single strength. And then I took this percentage one. Damn, man! I'm gonna have to face such things again. So, uh, as you can see, I've set this offset to something more like, you know, the more you set it, the <coughs> more it will go ahead. 
so I don't want it to go you know just down to one or seven like that or people may not believe it like you know if it is signal is bad then we should see some kind of twitch or interference so that's why and to make it more accurate actually what you can do is this I'll delete this we'll just take our original text or probably just let that person be and I'll just take out the person from here and bring this over to here so this look proper and we can go to effects and just no animation animate text character offset and just you know, change the offset or whatever you can want to do no one does you know pay so much of attention to just such minor things so even if it goes it goes to uh, you know nine percent like that nothing happens so you can just keep it static like that it will just say in one place and so you can say that it's uninterpreted transmission because of that so uh, anyway we have got this and I think uh, I should put it in signal spent just like that set it scale this down reposition it like this and just reduce the passive and place this below our adjustment list so the blinds go over it and it blends more perfectly so now we've got a hologram now what you see in here is that it's been projected upon so this you can do you know if you have a scene where you project it out of your watch or just some hologram figure like in halo she comes out of you know some devices will project her I mean Cortana if you know about her then what I'm gonna do is go to a new composition and just you know a uh, layer new solid is that I'm going to create a ellipse tool and just create an ellipse I'm going to make a 3D layer and P for position and no R for rotation I'm going to set the X rotation to 90 or something like that and then I'm going to drag this down like this and probably just scale it down a little bit so you know watches are small in size this here I just made it large like this only for fun but you know if your watches and then what we can do is go to layer and uh, actually you need to buy a plugin for this I have so new uh, adjustment layer and uh, sorry forgot things a little bit trap code shine so this is a really good plugin from trap code red giant software if you know about that you should really try it so what I'm going to do is source point is currently here and I'm going to drag it down so you can see how it shines already we're going to go to colorize and set the highlights to white okay set this to blue and set this to like something no uh wait that's screwed up and this to yeah, and this to something like that okay so that looks good and boost light I'm going to increase it a little bit so it shines you know properly and then I'm going to increase the ray length just to this down a bit boost light and final what we have to do will only be told when we drop in a hologram project so I'm going to drop a hologram project I mean composition sorry this and <coughs> push this back into C space like do it a little up and back 
Okay, so next thing you can do is just scale it down a bit. Better, better. And uh, what I could do is bring this royal blue rail downwards. Hit P. Bring it a little more downwards. No, that's uh, yeah, something like that. Then just tweak the settings more. Set the push light to a little low. And probably just take this a little bit upwards. Something like this. Then, uh, so, and I'm going to set the source point down, no, upwards a little. So the rail length increases and this rail length. So it seems that we are doing that and most like to just restore the light. And that is pretty much, you know, we can do that. You might use any other plugins you know of to create this effect, but I think this is just good. So we have this. This was really good tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope to see really nice projects in the future of you creating them. See you guys next time.